Hey everyone, we're going to look at a little bit at um, Irvin Ingepeth here, and um, mostly just about his landing. This is this is not about necessarily his hitting or his approach or anything like that. This is kind of mostly a video on just the way he lands softly, kind of a nice leg break, nice easy, uh, repeatable motion. So we're going to go ahead and start. Again, this is a, a warm-up pit, just a nice little easy warm-up pit. And we're going to see coming through here, landing, how he's kind of tilted to the left, and the legs land equally at the same time. They land at the same time, and they're both bent to the left a little bit, feet solidly together just like how the legs kind of work naturally and land here so take a closer look and they have that kind of recoil spring landing right so they're going up coming down, absorbing that impact. All right, so this is a different game, a different match. Uh, same warm-up pit, same side. Him hitting again. So a lot of these things that are, are repeatable motions here. So again, this is a different day, a different time, a different jump. Same landing here though, so we're zoomed in on the landing. Two feet at the same time, going forward, outward, and then bracing that impact there. This is something you can easily practice with just, you know, walking off of a curb, kind of, or, or standing above a foot. You don't necessarily have to fall from you know, three feet or two and a half feet. It's good to practice these kind of things just, you know, outside on a curb if you want, just walking off and then jumping and landing and absorbing that impact with two feet at the same time solidly. Or you can jump off of a box or you can do jump squats where you're jumping and then landing then jumping and landing and then really focusing on that landing motion equally and in coordination. So it's something that you can definitely practice. Here's again. There, we're focusing on the landing here. Impact landing there, good. So the knees bent, they recoil. The whole leg recoils on that impact to absorb the knee impact, the strain. And they're all very symmetrical too, so. So here's him jump serving now. Again, we're talking about the landing, so let's see after he hits it. Let's get zoomed in a little bit on his legs here. How he's coming down. There, nice. See, again, both legs. Inward, they're not, the knees aren't coming together inwardly. It's not a bend, it's not an abrasive. Both knees work in the same motion. They work in the same side. They're not pinching each other in, they're not collapsing in, they're not, the knees aren't buckling. Get another play here. Funny thing, actually, this is my, this was my coach, actually, right here when I played in France. He was my Toulouse coach. He's a cool guy. Um, so we're looking at the landing again. He's hitting a pipe. He's coming down. Both feet touch relatively at the same time. 
and impact and land softly and bend. And they bend forward and back just naturally like you would be extending your leg back and forth. They don't bend to the left or the right. They, back, they go forward and back. They don't go left and right. They don't pinch in. They go forward and back. They don't go in. The heels, both feet land solidly on the ground. Again, these are things to practice on your own here. One more time. See him on the right side here. Again, we're really focusing on the landing here. Not focusing on anything else in this video. And they come back and forth. See how they land here? They go back and forth. They don't go to the side. They don't pinch in. They come back and forth and they bend naturally. They don't pinch in, they don't go in, the knees don't touch inward, they're not clicking. They go back and forth. Nice, solid landing. This is a very repeatable motion. You're going to be able to jump higher if you land softly and you land consistently because your body is not going to be in a dangerous motion or it's, it's not going to be able to, um, it's, it's going to want to jump higher because it knows how to land softly. It's not going to hurt so much. So another key point of jumping and landing efficiently is actually it's going to help your jump, it's going to help your knees, it's going to help injuries, it's going to help everything. But it's something that you really need to practice if you're not great at. There, just a nice soft back and forth. Nice cushion. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. This is a this is a really under asset, uh, uh, underlooked asset of your game here. The actual landing. It's very underappreciated. It's something that not fear many people talk about, and it's actually something that's extremely important. So you can practice this, like I said, on a curb. You can just jump off, you know, if you want to go outside. Um, if you have a stair, you can drop off. If you have a box, you can just jump off of this a little bit and really work on contacting both feet at the same time on the ground, contacting evenly, contacting softly, and not having the knees go left and right, but back just, just like a normal squat kind of motion in a nice, safe, normal way that bend, the knees bend, right? The knees don't bend left and right. The knees bend back and forth. So really focus on that. Really focus on that fall land coil, repeatable motions, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, and um, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.